And our folks go win the ball game. Play for yourself, play for each other. All right, that's what we do. Okay? Play for the man next to you. Fam on three, fam on three. One, two, three. Man. He sucked again. The ball picked up. They got over to the end zone. Big plays back to back. Boom. Touchdown, Carolina. Are you kidding me? The Gamecocks win it. Well, the Gamecocks give up two special team scores today and struggle to sustain any offense in the second half. Therefore, giving up their halftime lead, 41-21, they fall the Tennessee Volunteers. Coach, at halftime, on the road, you had just about everything you wanted, but Tennessee did some good things in the second half, and we didn't quite earn it here today, did we? No, they, they hit some explosive plays. Bottom line, they changed the vertical field position, changed the momentum of the game. We didn't get anything going offensively. Field position killed us, but when you, you give up 14 points on special teams on the road, Todd, it's really hard to win in this league. you got to give them credit, but the explosive plays down the field were killers. We did not cover 15-1 and one the entire night. Coach, the punt return. It looked obvious to up up there. It was not Joseph Charlton's best, which then led to a lot of gap for the return to come back. Well, we didn't get a good net out. The first gunner down, I thought Xavier did a nice job covering. He got blocked. Uh, the, the second gunner got wired, didn't get off the line of scrimmage, and, we, and he split our net. 0 for 9 on third down conversions in the second half. It seemed like we couldn't find the bread and butter, which we've been finding in the last couple ball games. a play or two that we could go to almost all the time. Well, we, just, we, just, we didn't move the ball effectively in the second half at all. Uh, I thought we answered well in the first half to go up 21-17. I felt good about us going in at halftime, but I uh, just didn't do quite enough in the second half. On our Prisma Health injury report, I saw Mon Denson go out. A couple other guys were dinged up. Eric Douglas was playing a lot in the second half. How's the health of the football team? Well, Sedaris Hutchinson has an ankle. I don't think it's serious. And uh, Ernest Jones has an elbow. I do not think it's serious. All right, much more to come. That's our Prisma Health injury report. We'll have highlights from Neyland Stadium. That and more on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp when we come back. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, HNTV. And by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get zero for 72 on select F-150s, or get 11,500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey Gamecock fans, this is Coach Will Muschamp. As head coach of the Gamecocks, I know it's important to practice healthy habits to stay in the game, including exercising regularly, reducing stress, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. As the official health care provider and team physician for the Gamecocks, Prisma Health helps the team stay healthy on and off the field. And with locations across the Midlands, they make it convenient for the entire Garnet and Black community to get the health care they need. To find out how you can live healthier, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. 
Welcome back, Coach. You go on the road in conference play and our Toyota keys to the game. I suspect it didn't uh, include some of the other problems that we had today, that's for sure. Well, you know, the special teams issues that we've not had in four years as far as a punt return for a touchdown and a blocked punt. Uh, those are killers, momentum changers on the road. Uh, we need to find the ability to continue to run the football well. That's something we need to help our quarterback with. We didn't, we didn't do much of that. And then the explosive plays defensively killed us. Field position was bad today too as well. At least it felt that way for Ryan. Yeah. Had us back up to the uh, end zone almost all the time we were starting drives. We got to find a way to get the ball off the goal line. Toyota, let's go places and let's go out to Neyland Stadium and check out highlights from the first half. Well, we came out fast. There's no doubt about it. First play of the great game, 75. Really nice design by our offensive staff and a great execution by our players. And uh, Shia splits them right there and outruns everybody in the end zone. So, you know, we really came out well. Uh, you know, I thought we had good preparation going into the week. Defensively, I thought we did some nice things on defense early in the game. We only gave up the one drive really in the entire first half on defense, but tight coverage there, uh, you know, as far as, you know, snapping the, the, the ball right there. Really nice job tackling on the perimeter. Stopping the run, third and six, you know, critical situation here. Uh, really get good pressure on the quarterback right there. A throwaway right there to be to be a 7-3 ball game. They come back again in the run game. We do a nice job of making the tackle here. Uh, again, you know, forcing them to try and to grind it out a little bit. Again, we went on the line of scrimmage. Again, there wasn't a lot for them in the run game. I think a little bit it was on the quarterback scrambles, but they, uh, you know, come back here again. We got really good pressure on the quarterback on a second 11 situation. They come back and actually hit a draw on us, uh, but we stop them there on a, a good first and 10 stop. They go back to second and 10, they go back to the draw again. We, we stunt the defensive line up front and stop them. Come back on a second, uh, second and two situation. Nice stop by Israel Makamu. They come back on a crack toss and we're in a man coverage. Really nice job by Danny Fennell and our entire defense of scrambling. Uh, in a third and goal situation, really nice stop on the inside zone. We come back on fourth and one and a really fantastic play by our defense. Everybody's covered. Uh, we got pressure on the quarterback. Uh, they got to throw the football away, but a huge goal line stand. We come off on third and nine right here, run the draw off the goal line, and we split them. They're in a sticks defense. We're able to get the first down. Huge play getting off the goal line there. Come back, nice completion right there to Nick Muse, who's been a really valuable guy for us in the passing game. We come back with some tempo here. Tavian Feaster's able to get the first down. We come back, uh, come back with a pin and pull series again, well blocked, do a nice job making a guy miss. We get a first down again. We, again, we, we, we spotted some things in the run game we liked. We come back on first and 10, they make us punt. Nice play by Ernest Jones right there. They come back and run a, a stretch play again on third and 14, and RJ and, and JC do a nice job of stringing the play out, and Sherrod Green has a nice job of cleaning it up. Critical third down conversion right there. Nice throw by Ryan, a really good job by Shav making a play on the ball. Second and 10, the little boot. We got him back-to-back plays here where we were able to complete the ball to Kyle Markway, throwing the ball back in the flat. And now we got a fourth and goal situation where Mon gets in the end zone right there. They went to replay and showed that he was a score. So it's a 17-14 game. Feel pretty good about where we are. Uh, they, they come back down the field and, and, and score on a two-play drive we need to do a better job of. But our offense answers right here. A really nice job in a, in a one minute situation of coming back down the field. Josh Van makes a critical catch and run for a huge gainer right there. We go to third and 11 and what a fantastic play by Brian Evers. Ryan stands in the pocket, throws it up. Brian goes and gets it. Uh, one of the better catches you're gonna see right there and gets the ball down inbounds. And, uh, and we're inside the one yard line. We come back on second and goal and uh, we're able to get the, uh, the touchdown there to take the lead at halftime. We got nice movement inside by our offensive line. Boy, strange first half, Coach. Five reviews. We hadn't had that many all year long. Four of them on the goal line, but your football team is up. That, that last try, by the way, 224 on the clock. Great one, maybe one of the best ones of the season, and Brian Edwards' catch. So at this point, you feel pretty good. In fact, watching the replays, protecting Ryan pretty well on yeah. some of those crucial plays. Yeah, we're moving the ball offensively. We, didn't, we were a little bogged down, I think, our second and third drive in the first quarter. Uh, that was a little bit of a field position issue, but you know, we, we really played well. And you take in the defense, you take the two play drive for a touchdown, and we played well. But you, we just can't give up the explosives. All right, let's go back to the Neyland Stadium, check out the second half highlights. You know, here we come back, 21 17 ball game. Uh, we make a stop. They missed the field goal starting out. Uh, we want to try and get the quick screen to Brian going a little bit, just get him going. Uh, we get beat inside at the right tackle position. It's just hard right there. Ryan didn't have a lot of time. 
Uh, they go second and 10 right here, really nice play. We got them on a third and long situation. We get them in a max look, and we just got to keep the receiver cut off. And when we're hitting the quarterback in that situation, that's the only answer they have for, the, for it. And we should have no, done a better job of defending that right there. But again, in the run game, we're doing a nice job of stopping the run. Uh, played well on the line of scrimmage. They went back to a seven-man protection here, and they took the shot down the field. Uh, and it's just a tough on the over route right there with Israel. Uh, they were able to, to make the play uh, for, for a touchdown. Huge momentum swing in the game. It's a 10-point game now. Uh, so we're, we're realizing that, hey, it's the end of the third quarter. We got plenty of time. We're able to run the football. We're able to get some things going. But we felt like in every series, we had a negative play or two that just really killed the drive and killed the momentum of the drive. Nice job by Ryan here and getting the ball to Shy down the field. Really nice job by Shy fighting right there to get positive yardage. Uh, they come back on the, the, the speed sweep right here. We do a nice job of defending that all night. And then right here with the, the, the block punt, I mean, he comes free as a safe look, and their Mike linebacker shoots the A-gap, and we don't block the guy. So uh, that's, you know, that's 14 points on special teams. It's now becomes a 20-point game. Uh, we're in pass mode right now, so it's hard to they – were, they were teeing it up pretty good on the edges as far as rushing the passer and taking some shots at Ryan. Uh, but, but we do a nice job of throwing the ball down the field, continuing trying to battle in the ball game to get the ball in the end zone for, for South Carolina. Nice job throwing the ball for the first down right there. Uh, again, guys keep battling in the game. You know, Nick Muse does a nice job getting the ball vertical, protecting Ryan pretty good. And in this situation, got a second and 20. We hit the draw play again. Nice job by Mon getting the ball vertical down the field. You know, fourth and four situation here. Just trying to get the first down, stay on the field. Nice job by Shy and Ryan connecting on the sideline. I think Shy had 11 receptions on the day. Nice job stepping up in the pocket. Shy again getting vertical uh, down the field. Uh, it's, you know, again, we're just trying to battle right here, just trying to get something on the board. Uh, in the second half offense, we were unable to do so. It was disappointing. We weren't able to, to get anything more going, but the, you know, the explosives there defensively killed us. Tennessee holds on and really the difference in those special teams plays and then they did a good job of getting down the field with the explosive plays, finding a way to get it to Callaway, finding a way to, to get it to Jennings and they ended up winning 41-21. We'll talk to some superlatives, look at some of those winners for the Gamecock football team when we come back on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks, like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. Easter to the left, two wide receivers into the boundary, left side. Now Markway comes to the left side. Pump fake. Alinsky going down the field. Scott Smith at the 40. Running away at the 50. Shy Smith opening up at the 30. Shy stepping out at the 15. 10, 5. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Shy Smith from 75 yards out. No flags. No flags. You're right about that. That's how you open up on the road in the SEC. Boom.
afraid I'm gonna die, Dad. Understand who you're playing for. It's not just about you, it's not just about us, it's about people that made a difference in our life. When things don't always go your way, you gotta dig down a little deeper for that person. Does everybody understand that? Up next, we'll hear from Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, and HNTB Design Firm. Uh, my, ex my experience at the University of South Carolina started actually as a child where I sat over there with my father and came to every single football game and led to designing the new video board here for Williams Bryce, which is probably my father's proudest moment. Um, we have over 30 years of experience on the USC campus. We've done the Honors College Residence Hall, Women's Quad, Patterson Hall, the Band and Dance Practice Facility, Strom Thurmond Wellness Center. We've been working with athletics over the last few years. We've worked with the swim program, the golf program, uh, done some work for soccer, men's and women's basketball, and now, of course, with the football team. So we're excited about working with the university. 
Hey Gamecock fans, this is Coach Will Muschamp. As head coach of the Gamecocks, I know it's important to practice healthy habits to stay in the game, including exercising regularly, reducing stress, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. As the official health care provider and team physician for the Gamecocks, Prisma Health helps the team stay healthy on and off the field. And with locations across the Midlands, they make it convenient for the entire Garnet and Black community to get the health care they need. To find out how you can live healthier, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get zero for 72 on select F-150s or get 11,500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. When the unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Good hard work has earned Grayson Hess the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the equestrian team, Hess is a sophomore nursing major with a 3.956 GPA. This week's Academic Athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. Feaster in the backfield with Helensky working out of the gun. They're on the right hash mark. Helensky looking back towards the sideline, snaps it back. Looking right side, fade route, far sideline, one-handed leap at the goal line, caught. Touchdown, Carolina. He Touchdown, caught. Brian Edwards. I can't A one-handed leaping <laughs> Edwards. Reaches up and stuns Big Orange with 17 seconds to go in the half from 19 yards out. Boom! That's our Sandsbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? And if you missed that one, Brian, run it back again. Brian Edwards, an unbelievable one handed catch down the goal line. Coach, I thought maybe he scored the right arm down. I think I gave you an opportunity right there before half. Uh, and yeah. fantastic play. One of, the, one of the many fantastic plays he's had since, since he's been at the University of South Carolina. But what a catch, what a, what a game changer, especially on a critical third down. Good job by Helensky giving him a chance to Good catch job. it, put it out there. Absolutely, puts it on the back shoulder and, and, and Brian made the play. Congratulations, Brian. Now our Terminex Best Player of the Week. And it also goes to Brian Edwards. Coach, this is a guy who took the career receptions record today from Kenny McKinley. He goes over top of that 208 and then added on to it on top of that. He's been producing for you for a long time. Well, he's an outstanding football player. He's an even better person. You think in terms of the great receivers that have played at the University of South Carolina and breaking all of their records and, and God rest Kenny's McKinley's soul. Uh, you know, there's been some great players and, and a really a compliment to Brian and, and all the quarterbacks that have thrown to him. Congratulations, Brian, playing hard on uh, wide receiver screens and the balls down the field. Nice job. Now let's hear from my Carolina. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. 
Visit uscontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's uscontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock Football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get zero for 72 on select F-150s, or get 11,500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey Gamecock fans, this is Coach Will Muschamp. As head coach of the Gamecocks, I know it's important to practice healthy habits to stay in the game, including exercising regularly, reducing stress, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. As the official health care provider and team physician for the Gamecocks, Prisma Health helps the team stay healthy on and off the field. And with locations across the Midlands, they make it convenient for the entire Garnet and Black community to get the health care they need. To find out how you can live healthier, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, HNTB. And by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. Welcome back, Coach. It continues. The Vanderbilt Commodores next week for homecoming. But, you know, I know this took a lot out of your team the last two weeks playing this streak of, of ball games. How's the morale right now, and what do you know about the Vanderbilt Commodores? We got a, we got a hurt in the locker room, there's no doubt about it. We, the guys have fought their tails off, you know, the, to, to go into the lead here at halftime in Knoxville and then and, and let it slip away, and then they made the plays. You got to give them credit, but uh, our guys will rebound. We've got really good character and leadership in the locker room. We got the right kind of guys in the locker room. Vanderbilt's got a good team. T team. They run the ball extremely well. They've just had a huge win over Missouri. They're coming off an off week, uh, so we'll have our work cut out for us, but we'll be at home at Williams Bryce, and we know our fans will be there strong, loud, and proud. Yeah, there's nothing better than homecoming at Williams Bryce Stadium and the University of South Carolina. The Gamecocks will need you. We'll be there. It's a 7:30 kickoff at Williams Price Stadium. We'll see you for homecoming. We'll see you next time on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp.